Hello, my name is Kathy Arnold and I'm the principal investigator for this study called Improving Capacity to Reduce Fall-Related Injury in Older Adults, or abbreviated form is FAST. FAST stands for Fall Arrest Strategy Training, which is an exercise strategy designed to improve strength, balance, and the ability to react quickly to decrease risk of injury. 78 men and women participated in this study where they attended a fall prevention exercise and education program called Staying on Your Feet. This is a program that is run by the Saskatchewan Health Authority with the addition of FAST. One of the goals of this study was to see if FAST can improve something we call fall arrest capacity. This is a term that we use to describe how able someone might be to react to a fall and then reduce their risk of injury when they land. This can be challenging to measure, but we are defining it as a combination of strength, balance, and reaction time in a simulated type of movement that might be important during a fall, particularly one where you fall forward onto your hands. In order to assess how the FAST program performed, participants came to the College of Kinesiology to be tested both before and after participating in the program. First, we tested everyone's strength. My name is John Farthing, and I'm a faculty member in the College of Kinesiology, specializing in neuromuscular physiology. One of the components of the FAST program are exercises targeted at the upper body. Some of these exercises, such as pushing off a wall, mimic some of the types of actions that might occur during a forward fall. To evaluate the effectiveness of these exercises, we used a number of different strength measures. Some of these were more common measurements, such as how hard you can squeeze your hands, known as grip strength. But other measures were unique and designed to look at movements that were more specific to fall arrest. These included using a special piece of equipment in our lab called a dynamometer. For this study, we had a special attachment for the dynamometer, which allows us to simulate pushing forward in a movement similar to what might happen if you used your arms to stop a forward fall. The dynamometer allows us to control the speed of movement while simultaneously measuring the force the person is applying. It also allows us to test different types of muscle actions. We tested both the ability to push forward against the machine, this is called a concentric movement or concentric strength, and we tested the ability to resist when the machine pulled the arm back, this is called eccentric strength, and we think that this is an important type of strength for stopping forward falls. So Terry, uh, thanks for being involved in the study and for coming today to, to participate. Uh, obviously, uh, as researchers, uh, our studies are nothing unless we have volunteers like yourself to participate. So uh, maybe could you talk about some of the benefits uh, of being involved in the study and some of the things you, you enjoyed? Well, it's, uh, it was a new experience. Um, we've done a few studies over the years with, with, through the university. Um, like an opportunity to um, get in and do some exercise and as a rule, uh, pretty much need a kick in the butt to get going, but um, teamed up with my wife. She, um, she likes to get involved in these things and I like to join her. Uh, any exercise is good exercise as far as I'm concerned. That's great. And so what about the benefits uh, with the FAST training that you were involved in in particular? There, there again, um, start using muscles I never knew I had sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. And uh, it's all, all benefit, there's no doubt about it. And how about your experience coming to the university and visiting the labs for testing, et cetera? Did you, did you learn something new? Did you find it interesting? Always, always learning something new, found it interesting. Again, um, a variety of different tests that you've never done before sort of thing. Uh, interesting to see how far you can push yourself. It was good, good, good all around experience. Our analysis of the different strength measures showed that after the FAST program, Strength increased in a number of areas, including elbow strength, and both the ability to do concentric and eccentric movements on the dynamometer. These strength increases were similar for both men and women. 
We believe that strength improvements in these specific types of movements might lead to an improved ability to land effectively in a forward fall. A unique part of the testing at the College of Kinesiology was me measuring performance in an environment that simulates some aspects of falling forward on the hands. My name is Joel Lanova and I'm a faculty member in the College of Kinesiology and my area of research is biomechanics. We've been studying fall arrest capacity for a number of years here. We are interested in how people respond during falls, but for obvious safety reasons, this can be hard to measure. To get at this issue, we have developed a special one-of-a-kind testing machine which allows us to safely look at how people use their arms to control their movement in a forward fall situation. In this study, the participants performed a few types of movements. First, we tested reaction time. Participants moved their hands from their sides to the front as fast as they could after hearing a tone. We then had the participants perform two unique movements. The first was like a downward portion of the push-up. Participants lowered themselves down using their arms at a standardized pace. The second movement was a little more dramatic. They were suspended with their hands about one to two centimeters above the landing surface. Then, at an unexpected time, they were released and had to absorb the landing. In both cases, the participants were in a safety harness connected to the ceiling and wore protective gear such as a helmet. We recorded their movements on the computer using a series of special video cameras and also recorded how much force they generated under each hand. With this information, we were able to characterize how much energy they were absorbing and their movement mechanics. Thank you, Glennis, for participating in the FAST study. Um, so how did you feel about doing the, uh, the FUSH test on the rig? It's intimidating. How so? Um, it's only an inch, but you don't know what's coming. It's like an actual fall. And it's that little bit of terror. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you, do you feel going through this experience that maybe it, it might have given you a little bit of confidence? Absolutely, yes. Measurable dif difference on doing stairs, for example and that's something I do frequently at home. All oh, right. Um, how about with the, with the rig itself? So um, having the experience of not quite falling, but almost falling, um, does that, do you think that might make you more confident later on or if you actually had a fall? I think so, because you realize that you can put your hands out and sort of soften that blow. How about going through the fast program? Do you think there was a difference between when you first um, did the tests and when you were done at the end? How did you feel? It was, it was measurable because we were doing things that you don't normally do. As you age, you tend to kind of curl up into a comfortable little ball and this put us all out of our comfort zone. So definitely, there was a difference. Good. We found that the FAST program improved the reaction time, which could mean that they might be able to position their arms more quickly during a fall. We also found that the FAST program consistently allowed the participants to perform the forward descent movements with less force. We interpret that as performing the movement in a more controlled manner. These outcomes were the same for both men and women. We found that the FAST program was effective for both men and women in improving upper body strength, reaction time and functional ability to lower themselves on outstretched arms. We believe that this shows that the program can improve fall arrest capacity in older adults.